Pero bo o si kaya le be rende be isha le basarro ko cha ba inisa la hai. For the Lord says not only this property but there are attached properties that I had promised you even years ago. And I'm not finished with the vision that I have given to this house. For the Lord said that I have birthed a second house because this house for a season forgot me. Eshai. And God said I birthed the second house to provoke this house to what I told him to do originally. Not to change a city, but to change a nation, says the Lord. For did not I say to you that I would send this man to the nations? But the Lord says you became selfish and forced him to stay here when I wanted to send him to other places because you became, refused to grow up, the Lord said. But the Lord says this year has been a year of hell. It's been a year of pain. It's been a year of suffering. But God said you made it. You made it through it. And God said, because you made it through this year, those that remain. Now, the Lord said, many have left. And God says, goodbye, good riddance. God said, I had to get those out of the way that were hindering those that were on the way. The Lord says to this place that I have not forgotten my promises and my vision and my purpose to this place. For the Lord says that there are properties attached even around here. But this is not the house that you will reside in forever. For the Lord says that this was going to be just a temporary place. But I gave you vision about school and ministry training centers. And the Lord says that I even called you to the nations. And I spoke to you about South America. And I spoke to you about Africa. And I spoke to you about India. And the Lord says that I even brought people from those nations here to visit and speak the word of the Lord. And the Lord says they would connect for a season but then walk away. God said, I've not forgotten my promises to this house. The Lord says, in this day you shall begin to see my hand in ways you have never seen it before. For the Lord says, even those things that you started and had to close down for a season, and they started to produce money for a little bit, but then you had to shut it down because there were people who did not have purpose and vision overseeing them. God said, I had to move some people. I had to shut some things down. I had to reorganize some things, God said, so that I could prepare you for the things that are coming. God says, behold, I have said that this place would be a cathedral, but this is not the cathedral. This is only the beginning of what I have said, said the Lord of hosts. For the Lord says that I have told you that great things would happen. God says, get ready. TBN shall open up, but it shall be only for a season. For the Lord says, I shall take your name and I shall spread it throughout the nations. But God said, I will not allow you to become a part of that network because there are some things with it that I'm not pleased with. But God says, I am pleased with you. So the Lord says, get ready because I'm going to open some doors to give you a voice to the nations. God says, I shall send you. I shall begin to send you into the nations. God says that, the, that this house now has been through some trials and some struggle. But God says, I'm about to bring back. I'm about to bring back everything the devil stole. And I'm about to fulfill everything that I had promised from the beginning. For the Lord says, not only shall I begin to do strange things and unique things. But the Lord says, I shall begin to release you from the emotional attachment to the past. Some of you are so connected to what you used to do that you are not hungry and seeing God for what he wants you to do. The Lord says that there shall come even a greater revel. God says, do not fret even the sons that left. For the Lord says that the sons left. And the Lord says that even the, some sons tried to plant discord and lies. And God said that I have had to allow them to go. And I even allowed them to lie so that you would see that their heart was never here in the first place. Now the Lord says, man of God, behold, not only shall I move concerning this house, but the Lord says, even the other house, God says, shall be, it shall not only bring a new zeal to this house. But God says, I shall begin to multiply that house, but there should be even a third house. God said, and God said that there should come an apostolic network of churches. And you've tried to pull it together several times, but it had not connected because men were always trying to use you as an opportunity for their own ministry, but not the thing that God was doing. But God says, get ready. That's going to change. That's going to switch. I shall give you sons and not bastards. God said that I shall raise them up and they shall know my voice. I'm finishing, listen. And the Lord says, even in this day, I shall begin to do supernatural things. For you have seen the miraculous. And what other people have asked for, I have given you commonly. God says, what other people have, have begged for in their churches, you have every Sunday. So God says, get ready, you shall begin to experience his hand in ways that you have never experienced it before. 
For the Lord says that the house that God has given you, this is not the house that God has given you. God said this is the temporary house. This is the movable house, but this is not the permanent house. God said don't get comfortable. God said because there's coming a season of such anointing. God says that when it comes, it shall literally, people won't even be able to walk in the front door. God says they'll literally fall out and be healed in the foyer. God says, get ready for this shall only begin, be the beginning of great things that I have promised you. For the Lord says that not only will you begin to see my hand in those ways, but you will begin to pull out those. I keep seeing plans. I keep seeing drawings. I keep seeing ideas. I see waterfall and I see I see. Uh, uh, marble and I'm, I'm, I'm seeing things of great beauty and brass and, and the Lord says behold I'm going to place it in your hands behold I'm going to take what other people were preparing I'm taking it God says behold in, in, you shall see my hand for even there's another building that somebody else is perfecting fixing up and God says I'm going to give it to you I sent them there and you even already looked at it and were believing me for it and laid hands on it and walked around it and somebody else got it but God said I let them get it so they could fix all the electrical and all the plumbing and God said when you walk in it you ain't gonna have to do nothing but shout says the lord of hosts watch me god said if for nothing else this house is a praying house and there has always been a faithful group that have prayed but god said when the whole house prays god said when prayer meetings like bible study and when bible studies like sunday morning in Shall the revival come that God promised you? Then shall the needs... For the Lord said, I shall begin to add sons and daughters. For those of you that have sons and daughters that are not in the kingdom, I shall send them. And hear me, say the Lord, sons and daughters that have been hurt because they've seen the way you've been hurt. And don't even want to walk into their own church sometime because they've seen the way people have treated you, woman of God. Your own sons and daughters. The Lord says when they see and they say, I love you, but I'm over church. The Lord says, I got them in my hand too. For they are prophets as well, says the Lord of hosts. And I shall use them mightily in this day. And woman, woman of God, even as you told your husband, say, I'm, I need a break. And it has nothing to do with you, but I need a break because the church that I loved is killing me. Physically, my body is worn down. and I'm The Lord says to you, woman of God, get ready. I'm renewing your strength. And sometimes you told God, I wish I wasn't a prophet. I hear you saying, God, I, I wish I didn't know. Because almost every person that walked away, you said you, you knew it was going to happen. And you tried to help. You even tried to protect the man of God. But you're such an apostle and you want healing. And you say, they ain't no good. I'm telling you, they ain't no good. And he said, oh, everybody's good. And the Lord said, that you stop giving the word of the Lord. But God said, don't stop giving the word of the Lord. And God says, don't stop trusting people. God says, I'm going to give this house people that will go the full distance and will not try to deride and destroy you from within. God says, I'm giving you sons. And God says, I'm raising them up from within. For the Lord says, you've been faithful. Now, God says, if you remember where he brought you from, he will bring you beyond. If you would live covenant and not comfort, revival will come to this house. 2011 is designed for this house to place everything in order. 2010 was designed to get rid of everything that wasn't like him. 2011 is to place everything in order because 2012 will be the apostolic year that will give you everything he has promised. Sayeth the Lord of hosts. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. I'm excited about this house. I've not been excited about a house like this in a long time. Bishop, when I walked in here, I felt, this is what I, I felt like a woman who was overdue. Have you, how many of you ever, women that's been pregnant, you ready with, to lay your burden down. But if you've been overdue, the doctor will induce labor to give birth. And this house is overdue. And God said that today he sent me here to do nothing but induce labor. And what has been owed you, you are about to receive. Hear me. And what you should have got earlier in the year and last year, God said, this is the time that God is releasing it. Now, that there is a danger in being overdue because the life of the one bearing the child becomes weighted down 
and can die in giving birth if it's too over. Are you with me here? Now, let me prophesy to this house. You will not die in the labor room. You will not give birth to another church and suffer. You will see your glory as well, saith the Lord of hosts. And God said, I will raise this place up and everything that I have promised you, I shall bring.